Savivi Bull Mastiff. Large cleaver style flipper knife. I really thought it was ridiculous the first time I saw it. I think I was watching the uh, show coverage on Knife Center. You know, they've been doing all the manufacturers the last few weeks because the show was canceled by COVID. It's a big knife. You can see it next to uh, the Paramilitary 2 and the Spidey Chef. This is my first Civivi. You know, I have we I have a couple of Wii knives that were made for drop, the uh, carbon fiber gent select and then the um, the keen, which obviously they're high quality. I know the all these knives, I've seen a lot of the reviews online. I just haven't connected with any of their designs. I know there's a ton of them out there. I know they've all been really good cutters, a lot of them have hollow grinds and really fine edges which this one actually has a good edge for, you know, considering the stock on it and everything. You can see that. It's very well done. It's a liner lock. It's weird I haven't used a liner lock in a while because I've been using all the frame locks and compression locks and lock backs. And a couple times, you know, I, was, I didn't know where to put my finger even though I've used a liner lock, you know, thousands of times. It's done right. There's no play anyway. I think it's on bearings. Pretty, yeah, you could see the bearings down in there. I think all of them are. So maybe it just hasn't hit with me just because of the fact that, um, you know, I just, they just been very bland. Uh, I almost did an Elementum in the S35V and I like that. I like the Jade one with the uh, coated blade. I still may get one if they're available. So the reason why I got this The, uh, let me show this here real quick. This is the, uh, the map is pretty much everywhere. Blade HQ, Knife Center, Amazon. That's where I got it off their store off Amazon, 56.75. It's over nine inches. 9CR18 nine MOV. And it's uh, over five ounces. You know, it's not a small knife. And I think they make a blue, a black, and maybe a green. I don't know if it was a green or a red, orange scales. My wife is, uh, excuse me, my daughter is an avid, is a very avid sport climber. I mean, she travels to Tequites here in California, you know, Red Rocks, uh, Joshua Tree, a lot, you know, Yosemite multiple times a year, and she's climbing, you know, multi-pitch, multi just you name it, she does it. And she's also camping a lot. You know, she's, she's just, that's how I raised her. We're, you know, before my health deteriorated, I was camping all the time with the family, raised them outdoors, in the desert, in the mountains of Tahoe, you know, Colorado. And we're also very, we, we make all our own food. We don't really ever take anything that's pre-made. You know, even our potatoes will cut up and make them fresh. And uh, I bought her a Tops. I bought her a few different knives, but I, I bought her a Tops Camp Creek that she's been using exclusively on her camp trips. You know, strapped to her pack. Now, she doesn't use it when she climbs, obviously, but. And I looked at the edge on it recently, and it's been absolutely abused. I got to take it and get it sharpened or sharpen it for her. And I asked her, I go, how did it get so beat up? You know, it's it's a thinner stock. You know, I I've given her some other knives that are for Bretonian wood or whatever, and. She goes, I use it mostly for food prep, Dad, you know, on a, on a plastic cutting board, a small one. And I thought, what better, you know, another option for her while she's camping. I, th I just thought this would be, this. I, I looked at the shape, and in, once I got it in hand, it just feels like it's just going to be a great food prep knife. And that's the reason why I got it for her, to uh, complement her tops, Camp Creek. And if you look at, you know, the, the way this... I haven't used this one as food prep yet. I do use my knives for food prep. I was just up in Orville with my son and I used this, you know, pretty much the whole time I was there cutting food with it. But you could see the angle, you know, this one gets the whole belly. This one's a little bit angled more towards, you know, this cutting surface, but it it just looks like it's going to be very intuitive to use for food prep. 
So it's got the flipper tab. You can also use this groove. It's, it's very easy to do. You know, this fuller that goes all the way down. Super easy to open. It's got a deep carry clip for right and uh, left hand side. You know, Civivi just does good work. Uh, uh, Wii's obviously, you know, they're, they're grabbing a big part of the market for a reason. You know, perfect action out of the box, perfect centering. And, you know, a big heavy blade like this, it's hard to get the detent right where you can't shake it open. I've done it a couple times, but I am doing it as hard as I can. You know, you can see I'm wigging on it here and it won't open. You know, this is a big heavy blade. And normally a knife would just fly open because just from the weight of the uh, of the blade. And then, you know, obviously, typical, I don't like my knives to close like that, but it is ball bearings. You know, she's got enough experience with the buck open season that I gave her with the liner lock that she won't have this happen. I'll explain to her that it does have ball bearings in it. But, you know, you just look at the, the liners are radius. They're softened up. You know, you don't have that sharp feel. Even on some of the premium Spydercos, you get a sharp feel on the inside, you know, where you have to sand them down or with a ceramic rod. You know, they're really bringing their A game to the budget. You know, not only their premium lines and Wii, but their budget offerings. You know, look at the screws here for the pocket clip. They're recessed into the uh, deep carry clip. You know, they're not just sitting up. So, obviously, this isn't recessed into the G10, but, I mean, you can't have everything for 56 bucks. So, I may do a long-term thing after she uses it because my kids actually absolutely abuse their knives um, to let you know how it did with the food prep, but... It's just a great thing. I just think it's going to work perfect for her, you know, for what she's going to use it for. Obviously, I don't think she's going to be carried in a pocket. This will just sit in a box or, uh, you know, her, her, she's got a Tupperware with all of her camping stuff, all the little miniature stoves and everything. So it comes with the microfiber. A couple of these stickers were in it. Um, obviously, all the CVVs and Wii's come with this padded pouch. And this was the... You know, box that came in, it's like a double box outside and then the inside one. Well, I just thought it was interesting. Uh, we'll give it a try. Obviously, it's great quality. You're, you're not getting short change with CVV. So the Bull Mastiff, uh, full size in 9CR18 MOV. Did I say that right? I always get all those MOV stuff. Yeah, 9CR18 MOV. Ball bearing, liner lock, G10.